Now, to give you a little bit of a history of Granville Island, we actually started here on this side in 1984. We were the oldest microbrewery in, um, in British Columbia. And to be a microbrewery, what the definition of that is that we produce less than 10 million litres of beer each year. And what we produce is around about six or seven million, uh, of which um, around about one percent is produced. The, uh, the much more to blame. What we've got now is we've got our our grist. It's come up into the uh, that hopper up there, which we do actually call our grist hopper. And we uh, we keep uh, keep the grist in there. And at the same time as we've got the grist in there, we we will be filling up this uh, the first of our main tuns, which is our match mixer. Uh, we'll be filling up with water that's heated to around about 60 to 70 degrees and uh, once we're sort of maybe half full inside of here we will release, um, uh, release the grist into there and start mixing everything together. Now that process takes around about an hour and a half um, where we're actually mixing everything together and what we get from that is two components. We get something called mash which is basically where the water is, is, is mixed together with the, uh, the outer shell of the barley and that's like the, 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 sort of the mash is basically the softness of the, uh, of the barley. We've also got the, the, the powder from within, um, within the barley that's actually mixed with the water and forms something called vert, which is a German word. It basically is what is our beer. It's a sweet liquid which is going to become our beer. <laughs> Drink guy doesn't fall in the drink. What? Sticking my head up the hole. Wave, say hello. I said hello. Looks so annoying. Now we use two different types of filter. Um, one of them, uh, I've, I've swallowed a, a, a scientific encyclopedia when I say this, it's a diatomaceous earth filter. Uh, I don't know, 100% know what that means, <laughs> apart from the fact that I know it uses components from the seabed to grate away at the, at the beer. And what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to uh, remove any of the excess yeast that remains within the beer. Uh, because most of our beers, you'll see when, we, when I pour it out at the moment, that it has that like, bright see-through look to it. Um, the main exception to that is the Hefeweizen, which is a, an unfiltered wheat beer. We also do one of our limited releases here, which is uh, a Belgian wheat.